Let's take you to a look of Jude's Barbershop that was torn up by today's tornado in Portage, Michigan. This is the first time that I'm seeing these visuals too. And you'll see the insulation from the roof completely ripped apart. The roof ripped, and this looks like part of a strip mall that collapsed, but Jude's Barbershop and the neighboring, I don't know if that's the neighboring um, building or if that was Jude's too, that was completely collapsed. Let's find out. Let's bring in Amanda Miller at the Barbershop that joins us now over the phone. Amanda, thank you for being with us. I'm sorry about what I'm looking at right now with these volatile storms. Can you walk us through what happened with this tornado? I heard that you wrote it out in the barber shop. Can you kind of walk us through that experience? Um, sure, yeah. It was pretty scary and happened really quickly. Um, like before we even knew it was coming, really, the door was flapping open and one of the girls went to lock it and the whole windows shattered and the roof was gone basically and, and amanda can you tell us where you rode this out specifically in the barber shop because you know um, I, I, th I think this is important when you're at work you still have to have that that safe place yeah well i was in the break room there's like no windows back there but one of the girls was still with a customer on the floor mm. when it happened that's terrifying. And I'm looking at these visuals. You can see the entire roof was ripped and all that insulation dumped. But when we take a look at the storefront, the visuals, it looks like just to the right of Jude's, that was ripped apart. Is that still part of the barber shop or is that a, a neighboring no, business? Those, those are neighboring businesses. Have you been able to hear from them if they are okay and what happened? Yeah. Everyone came out, and they were all okay. The place to the left, um, the girls were stuck inside for a little bit, um, but everyone made it out. Can you walk us through, Amanda, quickly? What time frame was this? Uh, you know, it was around, uh, probably around 6 o'clock. Okay, so, yeah, still yeah. very active, right? A, a lot, you had a customer? Yeah. yeah. And when you're looking at this now, uh, obviously it's, you know, this is still very raw, right? And you're, and you're looking at this, it's, it's kind of incredible. Did you sustain any injuries? Did anybody in your building sustain injuries when this oh, pushed we through? Were okay. It was just me and one other girl. And then the client kind of covered over us until it passed, which is really kind of him. So when you're looking, um, you're looking at this now, Amanda, what, What's next? Uh, I, I think a lot of times people wonder, how, how do you process this? Does this mean for you? I mean, obviously, today is done with. What, what is the talk of what awaits for you for after this? Um, well, I would like a couple days off. That was pretty traumatizing. Um, luckily, we have a few other stores in the area, so I'm sure everyone will still be able to work. But I don't think our shop is going to be back anytime soon. Yeah, when you look at that damage, that is that is yeah. major. Uh, Amanda, I'm so glad you are okay. Thank you for joining us and walking us through what happened there. Um, and, and we'll continue to check in. Portage has been a spot where these storms continue to pop up. Amanda Miller from Jude's Barbershop, thank you for being with us here on Fox Weather. Um, it shows you how volatile these storms are as they push through. That entire uh, storefront collapsed, and you actually – heard her talk about how the neighboring building actually collapsed and they were trapped inside. We actually had reports of the FedEx building. I don't know, team, if we have a chance. That FedEx building in Portage, if we could pull that up, there was reports from officials there that said that there was 40 people that were trapped inside initially. So it shows you how sudden this was and the impacts that were felt in the town of Portage, um, and, and we're getting this that's been coming in. This was reported. So this is the building. This is the FedEx building that you see the entire side collapsed. The roof has caved in and been ripped apart. You'll see trees in the foreground that were ripped out from the root system. And then watch, the driver's going to pan over right now. And you'll see the trees on this side completely shredded apart. Shows you that rotation where the trees couldn't take 
on that wind and it collapsed. And then team, I know we have another visual that I thought was astounding with the semi, which was one of the FedEx trucks that actually was lifted. Yeah, and we don't have that available as of this moment. We'll get that to you later. But imagine one of these FedEx trucks lifted and thrown on top of another one. So that just shows you the intensity of that wind in an isolated area. We'll continue to get more reports, not only out of Portage, that's Michigan, but now we have multiple confirmed tornadoes in Indiana and Ohio. One of those storms is the one that Brandon is tracking right now. We will have the latest on these storms as they continue to develop and continue to stay severe. We'll try to talk with Brandon here in a couple minutes too as well. Stay with us here on Fox with a Live.